guys. I know, right? Yellow lips. Um, we're just gonna go ahead and jump right into this haul with this product I have on my lips right now. Um, this is the Jeffree Star Velour Liquid Lipstick. I went ahead, I told you guys I wanted to purchase and give my review on them um, because I heard great things about them. Um, any drama aside, I wanted to do that. And shopping for a liquid lipstick, I have so many, so many different brands and it's like, if I'm going to spend a certain amount of money on, you know, a new brand trying it out, especially in that mid-range, high-end price range, let it be unique. So I picked up two colors. I picked up Queen Bee and this is from his, uh, was that the Special Summer Collection? Really pretty boxes. Then I have one from the regular collection. This is Scorpio. I'm going to swatch Scorpio in a minute. But I'm going to tell you something. This yellow lipstick, I actually like it. Um, I think it makes my teeth look whiter. Um, I, of course, I have on a lip liner, a brown lip liner. Um, I'm, I bought these two to test, of course, the formula and different things. But this color, I'm not knocking it. Um, you know, well, I can pull off anything I want to pull off. But just, I don't know, summertime... Um, I don't like it, like he sent the card, you know, the little card, I don't like it, like without the lip liner, um, I really do like this ombre situation, I don't know, I don't mind this lipstick at all, but I really like it for some reason, this yellow, but anyway, I picked up that and then I picked up Scorpio, which is this pretty unique, uh, purple grayish shade, um, it looked a little deeper in the picture, but that's alright, so I picked up Scorpio. So I don't know how I feel about the form. I haven't, I didn't wear this all day. I didn't wear this to work. I actually just put it on for the video. Um, I tried it on last night without a liner and I still liked it. But as far as like the formula and the drying and all that, I'll let you guys know, update you guys later on. But I like it. All right. So now let me show you the things that I got from Ulta. Okay, so Ulta had their Platinum Appreciation Day on the 22nd, which if you're not Platinum, then I guess you wouldn't know about this, but um, for one day only, certain products, it used to be everything, but certain products are 10 times the points, and you, of course you know Ulta, points equals money off in your next purchase, and um, five times points on everything else. So before I knew it was certain things, I made a whole big cart, and then it was only certain things, and, so I didn't get a lot. Um... So I'll just show you what I picked up. So I picked up some of the dual tipped cotton applicators. These are the ones, I haven't had them in so long. These are the ones that are flat on one side and pointy on the other side. These were $1.99. I picked up two packs of these. You get 75 in each. So I picked up two packs of those. I just haven't had any in a while and I can really appreciate them. Also, Ulta, I thought this was really nice. You guys know I love my Ulta blending sponge, like their beauty blender, um, comparable sponge. I really like it. I really, really enjoy it. And I was this close to getting another pack of them. Um, I'll wait till they go on sale. But they have the three mini sponges super blenders. Look at these. What do these look like? Mini beauty blenders, right? Micro minis. Um, I haven't wet them to see how much they expand, but if they're just like their mama versions, they're going to expand pretty well. They feel pretty soft and bouncy, just like the... Um, a larger size from Ulta and these were $5.99 for three mini sponges and what are the beauty blender ones like six fifteen dollars for two which I mean pretty pretty good I really enjoy the Ulta brand sponge although I really enjoy the beauty blender but I'm just saying a cheaper alternative and you get three for five ninety nine and I think right now Ulta brand products are like buy one or buy two get two free or buy it's half all it's some some type of bogo situation. So I got those. Okay, now onto the makeup products, which isn't that many items, but I think I'm gonna make a second. They have a nice sale. The 21 Days of Beauty is coming up, and I've saved up my points, so I may, you know, visit them in the near future. But anyway, first thing is just a repurchase that I needed to. Uh, get it's my NYX my micro brow pencil. I got the shade brunette. I go from brunette I'm gonna have chocolate on today, and I don't like it um, But I have brunette and espresso I Use those back and forth all I had left was like a teeny bit of chocolate to put on my brows But I ran out all my micro brow pencils, so I stocked up on these these were buy one get one half off NYX right now So favorite brow pencil. So I picked up two of those Okay, then I picked up the Ulta Full coverage concealer. It's waterproof. It comes to be waterproof. This is the shade Deep Warm. Okay? Deep Warm. 
I tried this in the store and it just seemed to have a lot of coverage and I like the consistency of it. It reminds me of the NARS actually. So I picked it up but this is the deepest shade they offer. Like come on Ulta, let's not be petty like that. So I picked that up. Um, next thing that I picked up, make sure is that all I got? Mm. Next thing I picked up which I thought was so super interesting and I never seen it before um, unless I overlooked it. This is by NYX and it's the powder black liner. This seems so interesting to me and I can't wait to try it out. It comes in a box like this. It looks like a liquid liner tube, a uh, liquid liner bottle or what have you. It's called the powder black liner. So you hear that? I have no idea what that is. It's like spray paint. Uh, it's like probably a little mixing ball in there. But what this is is eyeliner in a let me show you the applicator thin brushes no more like a felt tip thin really thin uh doof applicator if you will it's a liner but it's completely powder check out this swatch though how black it is look at that look at that and it's a powder liner like i oh yeah super black powder liner that'd be great for smudgy eyes lower lash line upper lash line I never saw that before and it's a powdered liner like that look of if you like that look of soft powder liner over liquid or um, gel or cream never saw it before but I had to pick it up okay then the next item I picked up the Urban Decay All Nighter Liquid Foundation finally uh, I was going back and forth where I was going to buy it at Ulta or Sephora and then when they had the sale um, that definitely sealed the deal for me okay so the only thing I was watching I was reading reviews on this foundation and it was making me nervous because everyone was talking about it oxidizing but I also read that every shade did not oxidize so I had to test for myself I went into Ulta first off the packaging is like bomb.com um, I went into Ulta and I swatched some of it on the back of my hand and I went shopping for a while I just left it on my hand all day and I think I'm pretty good now I will say this the naked skin I don't know if the colors are 100% relatable um, but the naked skin I got in shade 11.0 and it's just a little off for me on the lighter side off so I got the 12.0 and this seems to be a good shade for me so I'm gonna definitely try this out I don't know if I want to try it over the weekend because I'm going back up to Connecticut or I don't know but I'm definitely going to try it very very soon. I've really been enjoying my NARS skin tint that I got from Sephora. I'm wearing that again today. Um, so try it. Then finally I picked up these NYX no filter finishing powder. Hashtag no filter finishing powders. Okay. I never saw, I haven't seen these in, no, I'm lying. I saw them in my Ulta one time, but the shade selection was kind of meh. But online, they have more shades, and the darkest ones are only sold online. What's up with that? So I got cocoa and mahogany. And so I'm wearing cocoa today over top of the skin tint. And I will say it gives, it's a lightweight powder. It reminds me of a, um... MAC mineralized skin finish. It's really thin and lightweight, but it has a little bit of blurring property to it that I noticed when I put all my when I put it on my face. Um, I use a fluffy Morphe Geo brush here, and I put it all over my face, over top of the skin tint, and I, that's what I noticed, like a blur effect. Now I have not taken a selfie today. Um, this is not selfie makeup. I have not taken a selfie today, so I don't know how that looks, but I'm definitely going to try it under the camera since it's hashtag no filter. Um, but I thought they were interesting, but it's really lightweight, and it reminds, again, it reminds me of a MAC Mineralized Skin Finish, but in deeper. I have a MAC MSF, but it's not deep, 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 because the MSFs run really, really light. Um... So this would be a nice alternative if I want something that's definitely my skin tone. So I have cocoa and I have mahogany. And you can see the difference. Mahogany is a little deeper than cocoa. So if I'm tan or depending on how I wear my makeup that day, both of them will be able to work. So that's what I picked up from Ulta. So those are all the things I picked up. It wasn't a lot. Um, if there are any questions, comments, concerns about any of the products mentioned in this video, feel free to leave them down below. And I will talk to you on the next one. I love you all. Bye.